Hello again. I uh, am standing here in front of my SawStop 10-inch professional cabinet saw. It's a very good saw and it's pretty large as you can see. And I have a pretty small shop, as you'll probably also see through this video. And you cannot run this saw without adequate dust collection connected to it. Uh, it just will not run correctly throwing the sawdust out onto the floor. You need an active dust collection device which with a vacuum feature that is pulling the sawdust out of the saw. It also is pretty essential for your health because you don't want to be breathing the sawdust. And what I'm going to do today here in this video is walk you through my solution to dust collection for this saw given that I have a small shop. Uh, if you were in a large shop you would probably put ducting throughout the shop that's connected to a fairly large vacuum uh, dust collection device and then you would hook that uh, piping up to your various uh, uh, saws and other devices that produce sawdust. I don't have that luxury because I don't have enough room so I, uh, I do it a different way. First of all, let me show you where the dust port is. The dust port on the table saw, there's only one real dust port and it's down here. The rest of this tubing has to do with uh, dust collection that can fit over the blade and we will talk about that here in a little bit. Uh, but I, what I wanna concentrate on is this single dust port and how I connect a vacuum to that and operate it. My dust collection system is built it's a dust right collection system and it's this large white bag over here in the corner of my shop. And then it has a motor up on top and then this hose is connected to that motor. So this is a four inch flexible hose, which you see I have running up into the rafters of my shop. And now I can move around to various pieces of equipment and connect to the dust collection with this flexible hose. Now the way I use it with the saw stop is simply put it on like that, that's it. And now I have dust collection that goes back to my dust collector through this four inch flexible pipe. Uh, I have, I, I, you also have to be able to turn your dust collection on and off uh, easily. So every time you turn, before you turn the saw on, you want to turn the dust collection on. And after you turn the saw off, you want to turn the dust collection off. I have a, a wireless remote control that I keep on my belt anytime I'm using the dust collection uh, at all. And it has an on and an off button, so I simply hit the on button. I'll do that to demonstrate. Dust collection comes on and, and the bag fills. And then you turn it off when you're done. When I want to go use a different piece of equipment, uh, it's pretty easy to change the dust collection. For instance, well, all you have to do is pull it. And here I have a planer with a light dust collection port and I can hook my same hose up to the planer uh, or other devices like my bandsaw over here. Now, the saw stop, you can also use an accessory to collect dust right at the blade. You'll find that even if you have that big dust collection hose connected, that some uh, material will spit out from the blade as you use the saw. This is designed to uh, trap that and suction it off into the same dust collection system. So the way this is used, you notice I have a writhing knife on here. Let me take the writhing knife off and instead install this vacuum accessory.
put my zero clearance insert back on. Then, although I've, I've put it down here because of video, we have this vacuum hose that now connects to here. And it sucks into a port near the exit of the dust collection system. So you see that when I have this installed, I now am collecting uh, dust and fibers from directly from the blade through this piping into the uh, dust collection system. And I use that some of the time, but not all of the time because it can tend to get in the way uh, of your working. But it's, as you saw, it's very simple to install that and uninstall that. So we've gone over basic dust collection system. In my case, it's a dust collection system for a small shop where I don't have a lot of ducting. Uh, it relies on a four inch flexible hose that goes to a single dust collection system and I connect that hose to various uh, uh, appliances as I am using them and creating the dust. So I hope this has been helpful to you and uh, if you, as always, if you like the content please hit the like button and the subscribe button and we'll keep you uh, informed of future content.